one of the better bucks I've shot in Virginia. So, uh, here he is. On this episode of Average American Hunter, I introduce you all to my honey hole, where my chances of seeing deer are usually sky high. I call this spot the Funnel Stand. <laughs> this is a spot I save for the second week of November, or even later if I can help it. The stand is in a pinpoint position to allow shooters to see whatever runs the mountainside. I can see from the fence line at 200 plus yards above me, all the way down to the railroad tracks, some 120 yards below me. If the acorns are abundant, deer hammer this ridge. 2017 proved precisely that, as I saw great rut activity from this very stand. Here it is. 
Nice. Good 11 pointer. I'm really impressed with it. I really like these here split eye guards. Um, so yeah, it was a pretty crazy hunt. Like I said, it didn't last, but uh, man, I, I got to the stand somewhere around noon 30 and uh, well, I got to the field around noon 30 and then by the time I got set up and everything, it was probably close to around one or something like that. So, uh, anyway, by the time I got out and set up, um, the wind was picking up. It's already about 57 degrees, and, uh, I just went ahead and I sat tight, and I thought I could hear something running around, and, uh, I get my camera out and ready, and I have this doe come sneaking up on me. So, uh, she comes popping out, and she gets to looking behind her, and, uh, once she looks behind her, I figured it was time to start setting the camera down and all of a sudden she takes off running so I knew right about then and I went ahead and I got my gun ready and got it turned around and there he was he was making his way out so once I got my gun shouldered I turned my tactic camera on as fast as I could and I shot once I uh, you know bleated at him with my mouth and he stopped and then I uh, shot again his shots aren't but four inches apart from each other, if that, I mean, not even, they're probably two and a half, three, so I got two good quality shots in on him, and he went down pretty quick, so that's a good humane shot, and uh, man, I'm just so happy with him, he's a, he's a fantastic box, one of the better bucks I've shot in Virginia, so uh, here he is, he's a uh, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, 9, 10, 11 point, and he broke off his main beam here, and if his main beam would have come out, he'd have probably had another little point on there. I'm going to get off here and start doing the things to get this buck up the hill and to the processor, so thanks for tuning in. You're watching Average American Hunter. Yeah, baby, tagged out in the state of Virginia. This spot has become a key component to my deer and turkey success. So much so, that 2018 and the success of Average American Hunter was hinging on whether or not the funnel stand could produce. So on November 8, 2018, I made a dash for Old Reliable. Only problem was, I woke up late, and somebody else got to my stand before me. He was in his climber some 10 yards away from it, never saw my stand, and never saw my camera. A nice guy that I exchanged numbers with to ensure it didn't happen again. So later on that afternoon, I set up in the funnel stand, and Hunter set up on the other side of the ridge. Alright, so it's uh, November 8th. Uh, we just got set up, set up here in the uh, point stand. And, uh, finally in the woods for a set. This year is my first time being in the actual woods. a lot of excitement. Just happened to look up. And this buck comes running down the hill. I mean, full force, just getting it. He had his nose and stopped, had his nose on the ground. Where I walked in with some uh, doe 
last or something like that. He followed it in here. And I've gone up at him a little bit, trying to get him over here, get some more footage of him. But they don't know here at the top of the hill. He might work his way down here, but that was really cool. So, a little bit of action already. It's early. It's already 340. So, stay tuned and see what else happens. I saw that one six pointer, but uh, I do believe that's gonna wrap up the early muzzleloader firearms portion of my Virginia season. Phone can't really concentrate, it's so dark, but uh, sorry about that. Anyway, stay tuned. Average American Hunter. Don't forget to like this video and subscribe to our channel. We release a new episode every Monday, and I promise. We get better as the season advances. Visit our website at AverageAmericanHunter.com to read some of our blogs and send us an email if you want to buy one of our shirts. Also, take a listen at Kyle running the Average American Hunter podcast at iPodcast, Google Play, TuneIn, Stitcher, or Spotify. Until then, stay tuned and embrace the chase.